Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? How y'all doing? I have not recorded in a minute and I have missed y'all. Have y'all missed me? Have y'all missed me? Uh, I have worn these braids for six long weeks. It's actually been six weeks and a day. And today is the day that I finally take them out. For the first four weeks, I did not miss my hair at all. At all. But by the fifth week, I was I was getting a little antsy. And by the sixth week, sixth week, I actually just wanted to take them out completely. Um, so I've missed my hair finally. I just want to get it some loving and some care and all of that. Um, so I'll be doing my take down today on camera, just talking to y'all a little bit, just showing you the process of how I restore my hair after having a long term protective style. I do not recommend having a protective style for more than four to six weeks. I know a lot of people wear braids for three months. I don't advise that. I would really say four to six weeks. If you have to you can push it to the eighth week so two months but after two months just let the style go and start over you end up doing a lot more damage to, to your hair than actually taking care of it i'm a proponent of protective styling y'all know i protect the style a lot but you don't want to damage your hair in the process but i don't want to make this little intro too long i just wanted to get that in the open i honestly took down this braid like a week ago um, it was hanging by a thread like a lot of these braids are, especially in the front. I have about an inch of slippage and new growth. Um, obviously, it's not all new growth and it's not all slippage. So I think I did get a bit of growth. Let's just see how I'm able to retain that growth once I take my braids down. But obviously, this is the point of the video, how to keep your hair as good as possible when you take your hair down because you can cause so much breakage and so much tangling when you take your hair down. So I'm going to show you the easiest, safest method to do that today. So let's get into it. I actually have a helper today and he's so excited. <laughs> Don't cut my hair. <laughs> and he's so excited to help me take down my braids. He actually volunteered. Why did you volunteer? Why did you want to take down my braids? Talking to you? I just feel like taking my hair after it. Why? I just feel like doing it. Going to be helpful? Yeah. He's gonna help me, and we're gonna take down these braids. And it's so helpful because it's a lot of braids, they're very thick. Um, so when you take your braids down, you can the good thing about color is that you can really see where your color is. Um, and I've cut my hair before to get down protective style. So even though I can see where the color is, I still cut a little bit below, like a lot down below, because I don't want no issues. So there's that. I honestly usually start from back to front, but now that I have a helper, um, we're just going to do whatever turning on one side and it's really easier if you have like a rat tail comb to help you especially if you have you know long nails and stuff it actually helps you especially at the bottom and again my hair is not down here I just <laughs> I just have a huge fear of cutting my hair so we're just gonna take these down and once I get to like the top where you can see all the build up I'll come back on but I shouldn't have too much build up um, and right now we're not adding anything to the braids because I have been doing a good job of moisturizing them Honestly, he took out most of it. It's really hard to take out braids to do anything really with long nails. So 
but they're so sexy. They're so sexy. So he really did most of the work. So thankfully I have him. Um, put your men to work. Put, in, put them to work. If you do want to know how we met and all that, want to know more about him, definitely give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. 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 Below and let me know. Um, and I'll do that. For sure. He's such a king. He really is such a king and I'm so, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed, y'all. So once I get up halfway, then it's much easier to use my nails because the braids, the braid is basically already coming apart on its own. So halfway up, I just go in with my claws and do it myself. Okay, so this is my hair all taken out. Safe to say we are prospering. And it's super shrunken, obviously. And of course there's lots of shedding, but don't be afraid. Our hair sheds 50 to 100 strands a day. So you're going to get a lot of strands, especially if you kept it in for weeks, right? I have lots of buildup, way more buildup than I had last year when I had braids. I literally had braids a year ago, and I did not have this much buildup. So that just shows how every week you just get more and more buildup. Like, not that I didn't have buildup, but... Go in the extra two weeks, I can see the difference in my scalp. Like, my scalp is not itchy, it's not fiery or anything like that, but the, like, y'all see this? This is like a lock, okay? It's a lock, but I'm going to show you what to do. So all you need to attack the buildup is really to use oil. You don't want to go in with water because curly hair shrinks and when it shrinks it goes to your scalp and it's going to create tangles. So if you don't attack this buildup at the root before you go into the shower, you're going to lock up your hair and, and end up having to cut your hair and all that shit. And we don't want that. So I'm going to go in with oil. All this is is aloe vera oil it's aloe vera infused into olive oil that's all it is aloe vera powder infused into olive oil and like it's really simple to infuse oils check out my girl curly proverbs but you can use any oil i just ha happen to have 16 ounces of aloe vera oil so aloe vera oil isn't any better than any other oil obviously it's nutrient but in terms of the slip to get out the buildup you don't need any special oils so you say just put the oil at the root, just pressing the oil in. This is really just a bunch of shed hair. And that's it. You see there's actually a lot of hair coming out with the build up. That's all the shed hair at the root. That's it. It literally took seconds. And I got it out. So I'm really just focusing on my edges. Because that's where the buildup really is. And then I'll just apply a treatment all over. But I'm just focusing my energy right now on the edges. Because that's where my buildup is. Because like this kind of buildup in here will come apart pretty easily. This will break apart. But like the locks on the like around here and the nape, that's where you have to put your focus. A 
obviously I use too much oil, but that's okay. All the buildup is gone. I'm going to be honest with you, the buildup in the back was the worst. It was almost starting to lock up because obviously that's where you have the most friction. It was hard for me to show you the back so I didn't, but this makes me want to take out braids after a month because when I say it was locks, like it was locks in the back, like a lock. Um, like. I'm trying to pull it out a lock like this was a lock okay so I have to deal with that I use a lot of oil but my hair feels amazing it feels so soft I mean honestly my hair felt soft even before I put the oil on because I have been moisturizing it um so right now you could go into just washing your hair but because i'm going in with a sulfate shampoo i want to do a bit more and y'all know i'm extra so i am actually going to go in with my rice milk pre poo this is it right here i have a video on it you can definitely check it out right here i'm going to go in with that to further detangle because oil enough doesn't help to detangle my hair like it does a bit of detangling but i want to do a bit more detangling and i want to do a pre-treatment um, with more than just oil before I go in with a sulfate shampoo. Um, I'm not sure what the braider used. I'm sure she used a wax or a pomade with like petrolatum and she may have used silicone. I don't know. So I just want to get that all out before I wash my hair. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I have a video on all the ingredients and all of that. So we're just going to breeze through this part. Everything I'm using slash use will be down below. I air dried my hair after washing it for about 40 minutes. Kind of got caught up watching YouTube. My hair feels, feels okay. Doesn't feel completely dry, but definitely feels like I gotta do a little bit extra. At this point, you can go in with your favorite deep conditioner you can use depending on how your hair feels you can use a regular deep conditioner you can use a moisture protein balancing conditioner or you can use a protein treatment it just depends on how your hair looks and feels so I'm actually gonna go in with an Ayurvedic treatment this is Cassia and Brahmi I do not have a video on this, so if you do want to see this recipe, definitely let me know. Give this video some love. Let me know down below. So this is what I'll be doing, just because I'm trying to do more Ayurveda for the rest of the year. So let's apply.
I just put my hair up so I can look a bit cute and finish off this video. But yeah, it was a successful wash day. My hair feels balanced. It doesn't feel super soft and it doesn't feel hard or dry. It feels strong and ready for my leave-in. I lost a lot of hair. I feel kind of bald. Like, how do I put this back on like a little piece? This is how much hair I lost before I went into the shower. I know it's gross, but it looks dirty because of my pre-poo. My hair really wasn't that dirty. So, it's a lot of hair, but it was six weeks. So that's how much hair I lost out the shower and in the shower because I had done so much detangling in the shower, there was not a lot of hair to lose. So. Combined, I lost this much. I want my hair back. But I don't think my hair is thin or anything like that. I just think it needs to be styled. So definitely stay tuned for my style. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. It feels so damn good to be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.